Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement, the female edition. We're going to put this up for Money Monday because this is exactly what could possibly happen to you as a woman in business when you encounter another woman who is hell bent on preventing you from making money. Now, Priscilla sent us an email here at Aurora Day Consulting and she states in the email that she was in partnership with another young lady. This young lady decided that she would send out this lovely little letter to their email list. She did not, Priscilla did not know about this email. The email was brought to her attention by some clients of the, the pair, okay? This email is so disgusting and cantankerous. I will not read this email. And I told Priscilla that I would, you know, I just could not believe that I read this email. This is somebody who you've been working with, someone who claims to be your friend is unbelievable, okay? It's just horrible. So after taking a look at the documentation that Priscilla had, along with the legal agreement that she had with this other young lady to which we are restructuring her business right now, I referred Priscilla to an attorney who has agreed to take this case. Now, before we get into this, I want everyone here in the Secured Entrepreneur community to know that defamation of character is very real. It is very damaging and you can sue for defamation, all right? now. These defamation cases are taken on a contingency basis. Now that works for you because what happens is the attorney that will take that case will get 25% of the damages if in fact you are able to do a mediation and come to some form of an agreement before it gets to trial. If it gets settled somewhere before it gets to a trial, that attorney would take about 33%. If it, gets, if it goes to trial and you win, which of course you're not going in, unless you know that you're gonna get this win, okay? The attorney would take uh, about 40%, okay? So if in fact this situation that is happening pr to Priscilla right now is actually something that's happening to you, please pay attention to this, okay? This young lady that Priscilla was working with, all right, decided that she was going to say some very derogatory things about her and steer these individuals who they have been working with together, steer them away from working with Priscilla. She made statements about Priscilla's character and clearly she said things that were not true, things that she cannot prove. There is no proof in any, in any way for her to go to these people on a list of over a thousand people. Now, this gets brought to the attention of Priscilla's attention by some of the individuals who received this email because they could not believe that they received this email and that this situation was going on. Now, Priscilla responds by saying she was totally unaware that there was anything going on. She had no idea that this other individual actually felt like this and would actually do something like this. So how do you deal with jealous women in business? You know, this is cantankerous and totally disgusting. I mean, this email really, it, 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 it surprised me. It amazed me, Miss Aurora, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that somebody would write this. All right, so I'm going to tell all of us here in the community exactly, I'm still a little dumbstruck by this email. Um, and the attorney that I referred her to, he, he said, I wanna fall out. I wanna fall out because somebody actually thought it was okay to write this nonsense and thought that they were going to get away with it. Okay, so I wanna say to everyone here in the Secured Entrepreneur community, and I want you all to chime in and let Priscilla know what you would do. I wanna say that whenever you encounter these cantankerous, jealous, insecure women, you've got to stay focused. Stay focused. And you've gotta give them enough room to hang themselves. Oh, cause b believe me, it has happened to Miss Aurora, okay? These individuals who wanna be you, but they just don't have the gift. 
okay? They don't, they don't have anything that you're coming with. They don't have your talents, they don't have your abilities, and they don't have the means to earn the money that you earn, and they don't like it. And they will do anything in their power to ruin this for you, okay? But little do they know, they have a tendency to talk a little bit too much. And they like to put things in writing. And they like to send things through the mail. <laughs> okay? All of this happened to Priscilla. Okay? And so Priscilla is now armed with everything that she needs to have a successful lawsuit and collect some damages because this has cost Priscilla peace of mind. This has cost Priscilla money. And the emails that came from some of the people who said, I would never work with you again. I can't believe you're this type of woman. I mean, all of that, okay? Priscilla has to stack this big of the evidence against this woman and what she has done to defame her character. Now, I want you to pay special attention to something else. <laughs> this has recently happened to Cardi B. You know how much we love Cardi B, okay? This former roommate of hers gets up on this YouTuber's vlog, podcast, interview, and starts saying that the woman has herpes, that the woman was a prostitute, and all these things, okay? She was sitting up there saying all of this. The interviewer never said this was alleged information. So what did Cardi B have to do? Slap them both with a lawsuit. Because you're, you're trying to defame my character, and you could possibly cost me some money. You could possibly cost me something that is valuable to me. You could be harming me, okay? So I want everyone here in the Secured Entrepreneur community to chime in and let Priscilla know how it is you would handle a situation like this. I'm gonna say, stay focused, number one. Number one, stay focused because your objective at all times is to have a successful business and do what? Make money every day, all right? Stay focused. And number two, once you really get the gist that someone is trying to harm you physically, emotionally, mentally, uh, spiritually, and financially, it is time for you to now separate yourself from that individual. Cut off all ties to communication, however that has to be. Because they're gonna to continue to, to say what they're saying and do what they're doing. They're just helping you win your case, okay? Because they're gonna come out on the losing end after they have done all of these uh, damaging things, all right? The other thing that I want to really uh, say to the community is that you have to be so mindful who it is that you get into business with because I guarantee that this woman, okay, was already doing and saying things, you know, at the very beginning, at the very beginning, because this incident just did not start. And I can tell you that Miss Aurora went and spoke somewhere one time for a beautiful young lady. And in the midst of uh, uh, me, me talking, there was a woman that I could clearly see who was giving me the green-eyed devil. How many of you all know what the green-eyed devil is, okay? I saw the look on the woman's face. I've never attended another one of this young lady's events. And I never will because she's attached to that woman because I know how dangerous jealousy and cantankerism is. Is cantankerism a word? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is now. Okay. Because I know what that's all about. And I want you all to be very, 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 very careful. All right. So on this Money Monday, please, everyone, chime in. Let Priscilla know what you would do. Okay. And, and how you would deal with uh, working with a jealous woman in business, okay? And please, if you know that you're that woman, free yourself. Free yourself, all right? That's all I want to share with the community today. You all know that you can reach me at auroradayconsulting.com. And please, thank you for emailing. Continue, continue to do that. Info at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time.